Bright field, bright for the woody night shade. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, that was awesome, dude. We you freaking pulled them in on a string, dude. MFK ruthless nose, rabbit diaphragm. No, nose to the ground. <laughs> Shoot. Hold them up. I'm tired of holding things up. <laughs> How far was it? Three hundred. What'd you hold? I told you 300, huh? I just held it on it. Yeah, yeah. 223, you know, they so, so flat shooting. Yeah. <laughs>
goes straight across out to the, off your corner to the right. He's getting over towards that brush line. Dude, I was wanting to double team. And that's what I thought you were gonna do, and I was That's cause I if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't get no footage. That's true. Y'all would be done killed them. Y'all worse than dating. <laughs> Cow steady coming towards us and you just ready, shoot, ready. <laughs> what happened to Jolly shooting? I really was. I was when when he said give you the, the go ahead. Trigger. When you said he gave you the go ahead, I was gonna just double double tap him. <laughs> y'all better be glad. <laughs> Man, y'all wouldn't get to watch no footage. Wouldn't get to learn nothing about MFK. Cause these boys like to shoot. I'm talking about the cow barely in sight out there, and they trying to kill him. It ain't like they ain't never killed a cow before. <laughs> That's pretty good though. That cow come up and smelled one that we killed right at daylight. And uh, should be pretty good stuff. But anyway, I think we're gonna go collect them and uh, take a better look at them. <laughs> a little bit of... <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, Charles is gonna kill it. I was, I was like, yeah, this is all you, dude. And then as soon as he gave you the go-ahead, I started putting pressure, and then it, my gun went off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't control it once you hit four pounds. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's gonna go off. <laughs> Technically, I killed, I finished him off. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Yeah. I wish I wish he had dropped right there and we wouldn't have had to walk to get the other one. Yeah. That that would have been really cool footage if he'd have just laid right there. I wanted yeah. to I wanted to shoot as soon as he smelled. I wanna know where I hit him because Now you wanted to shoot 
before he even got close to the other one. That's true. I could Dude, read. When he got closer. I can read y'all's mind yeah. the whole time. Where Jolly's, if what's happening is the coyote starting to get behind the truck. For yeah, Jolly's, and Jolly's <laughs> wanting to shoot. Yeah, he's like, we gotta and, kill him now. <laughs> But and dude, as soon as you're I, scared, I he's there. gonna turn around, or yeah. So you trying to kill y'all for that shit, <laughs> dude. But as soon as uh, like he started coming this direction towards that other one, he had his nose like this and level headed. I was like, that's exactly where he's going. That other coat. Yeah, he fuzzed up. You could uh -huh. tell he kind of fuzzed up. He could. Yeah. Smell that other one and probably see him by that point it. too. That was cool, dude. But, Came all the way into that one. I guess right let's gather them up. <laughs> While I walk out there to get that coat, just to save time, I'll try to fill y'all in on what actually happened. This was not our intended setup. We come in here just before daylight, had herd coats, we were locating, had herd coats. Back here is kind of a, a little swag in this brush, all this mesquite. We'd herd coats howl there. So we were going to locate again from here and then decide what we needed to do. These other coyotes have moved in towards our howling too. Well, two more in the pile and this was kind of unintentional the way we ended up set up this morning. Uh, before daylight we were riding around locate and we stopped at a spot and heard some coyotes howl in this direction way off. Sterling knew about where he thought they were so we drove around and like I said they were way off so we pulled into this cow pasture thinking that the coyotes were going to be and, and part of them were. They ended up being more coyotes than we expected. But we pulled into this uh, cow pasture going to locate one more time with intentions of setting up in this mesquite off the end of this cow pasture because that's where we thought the cows would be. Anyway, we howled right at, you know, it hadn't even got daylight enough to make a set yet. We howled, the cows answered us, and they're right here on the edge of this cow pasture. So we didn't have any choice but to jump out of the truck and jump up in the back of it to give us some visibility in this mesquite and then also the cow pasture. And we actually saw one cow in the field and it started breaking daylight. Jolly went ahead and started doing uh, some rabbit distress we used. Double slash. on the double slash. And I mean, pretty quick. One of the two, I think it was this cow. I see it coming in from this end and we had two more cows come out off this end. I can't remember what all we got on video, but the cow that comes in this end is cutting across with intentions of going downwind. At the time, when we first got here at daylight, the wind was blowing left to right, just straight over our, our head here. Now it's coming completely opposite. But uh, anyway, that cow had intentions of going downwind of us. I think I howled or something and it stopped. And you shot it, didn't you? Sterling shot it, dropped it, and went on from there. And then this cow pops out and we had howled a couple more times and done a little red in the stress. Or something, yeah. and had cows answer us in two or three directions, and then this cow pops out on the field and works its way from a long ways right into us, and it actually catches wind of the first cow. Some pretty neat footage because it works yeah. in, and of course, y'all will see they're trying to shoot it <laughs> way out. <laughs> I held them off long enough to get this cow coming in and smelling of the other one, and uh, then. You know, once we got to watch that and kind of see how it played out, uh, <laughs> Sterling shot it out from under Jolly. Jolly had called the shot, but uh, Sterling shot it and he ended up getting both of them. But uh, better not wait too long, with Sterling. Anyway, yeah. two this seconds. <laughs> this is nine cows. Jolly, about. boom! Yeah. <laughs> We've been here one day, this will be the start of the second day, and uh, I think we've killed nine coats and about nine stands or so. We hadn't made many stands. Been rolling them in, we've run a lot of vocals. Uh, the vocals have been really working well, the howling, and uh, 
We've been combining it with uh, rabbit distress off the MFK Ruthless Rabbit, MFK Double Slash, all that's been working well. And uh, if you want to get any of that stuff, just go to the website, mfkgamecalls.com. You pick up any of our diaphragms. If you're watching this video, subscribe to our channel and check out some of the other stuff we got on there. It's uh, a lot of killing and uh, some good instructional stuff, too. But as always, we appreciate y'all watching. I'm going to throw these in the truck with uh, the rest of them. Go kill something somewhere else.